So we're going to begin with our morning prayer. Please pop your hands together. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, you love me. You are with me night and day. I want to love you always in all I do and say. I'll try to please you, Father. Bless me through the day. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everything you need to support your home learning is on the school website on your class page. So you need to go to the school website, click on children at the top and then click on year three. Okay, and if you scroll down you'll be able to find something that looks like this picture on the screen there. Okay, if you click on the icon for some of these pictures it will bring you directly to the resource. So for example, um, in the top left corner it says home booklet five. If you click on that, it will take you straight to the booklet. You're going to need these links throughout the day to support your learning. And please make sure you go onto the website before you start your learning so that you can access all of these things, find all the help you need before you start your work. Today's exercise, um, we are going to be dancing to Waka Waka. Okay, so we're still focusing on dance this week. Please go to the school website, go to children, year three. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll be able to find the PE icon. So the picture for that is shown in the right top side of the screen there. Um, and if you click on that, that will take you straight to the dance video for today. Moving forward with maths, we are going to be doing some multiplication. So in order to find your video to help you, you're going to go onto the school website and the link is here. You're going to click on Year 3, find the Maths icon, and as you can see the examples there on the screen, click on that um, for a video tutorial. Um, then you're going to complete the work in your booklet. Okay, And you can also go onto the school website to check your answers once you have finished. We are looking at the four times tables again today. Um, so as you can see on your Maths worksheet you have got some pictures to start off with so you're going to count the bunches of bananas count how many bananas are in your bunch and use those numbers to help you to come up with a um, number sentence there in the boxes and you're doing something very similar with the group of balloons you're going to see how many groups of balloons you have count how many balloons are in each group and use those numbers to help you complete your number sentence in the box below. You also have um, some multiplication and division questions to complete. So please read them through and find out what the missing number is. And um, for question three, we have got um, an array. So please have a look at your array and see the different ways um, that we can represent this in a multiplication and a division question. So we are continuing on with our multiplication and division and as you can see in question five it's asking you to use the less than, the greater than and the equal symbol um, to compare the statements. So you're going to put the relevant symbol into those empty circles. Um, remember your greater than and your less than symbol if your symbol, if the pointy end of your symbol is facing the left, that means less than. And if the pointy end of the symbol is facing right, that means more than. Okay, so you put those into the um, correct circle there. Um, you've got some worded questions as well. Please make sure you read them through thoroughly to make sure that you know what they're asking of you. You also have a pictogram on this page. Um, and you need to read through the table. As you can see, each blue circle equals four animals. So you need to write down the correct number that's represented in the table. So for example, a cat, you have got four of those blue circles and each blue circle equals four animals. So you need to write down in numbers how many um, animals we've got, so how many cats we've got for that one. Uh, if we look at the next one, we've got 28 dogs, okay, so you now need to go on and um, draw your blue circles there to show how many circles will represent 28. Remember, each blue circle equals four. For um, the birds there, you can see we've got five blue circles, you need to work out how many um, in numbers that is, how many birds we've got. 
And for the mouse at the bottom there, we've got one blue circle. Um, and you're going to write down in numbers how many that is. This week we are going to be writing some poetry, okay? So please make sure you come to the Microsoft Teams meeting at 9.30 every morning to discuss our activities. When you're writing, please remember your capital letters, your full stops, and very importantly, you must remember to read your work again. This is to make sure that your writing makes sense and you're happy with what it says. Also to make sure that you've done what the task has asked you to do. Okay, you can also check to make sure that you've included your punctuation and your capital letters by reading your work again. So today we are going to be having a look at apostrophes. Um, the title of our text is called Pandora's Box. Um, and as you can see, there's an apostrophe there. Please find it and circle it. Underneath that, there are a few examples of using an apostrophe in a sentence. So as you can see, um, on the left hand side of the table, it says the dog's ball. And we can see there's an apostrophe S after the word dog. We put the apostrophe and the S there to show who or what um, the item belongs to. So for the dog's ball, we know that the dog owns the ball. So therefore we put the apostrophe and the S after the word dog. The next example shows us, um, and it says there, the man's hat. And we know that the hat belongs to the man, so we put the apostrophe S after the word man. Our final example says the car's wheel. Um, and the apostrophe S is after the word car to show that the wheel belongs to the car. So underneath that, on um, your sheet, you've got a tiny bit of space there, I want you to write a few examples um, underneath where it says the dog's ball. For example, you're going to write your own example. So you might write the child's jacket. Please make sure you put the apostrophe S in the correct place to show that the jacket belongs to the child. On the next page, you've got a poem there. And please share this poem with someone at home. So you might want to read out loud to somebody that you've got at home. So as you can see um, at the bottom of the poem there, the author's name is Kit, and if you like, you can follow the link there um, that's shown on the screen or it's also in your booklet. You can follow it and listen to Kit reading the poem out loud. Once you've spoken about the poem with somebody at home, so you can read it to them and then speak to them about it, maybe ask them some questions, discuss certain words. There are some thought bubbles as shown on the screen. These should be in your booklet. Um, have a little think about what the favourite item in the magic box is and also think about is it a happy or a sad poem and what makes you think that. Okay, so you can write your thoughts down there in the thought bubbles. So year three, we are still reading Matilda. Please go on to chapter three today. So as usual, you're going to go to the St Scholastica's website, click on children, then year three, find the picture that says reading book and if you click on that it will take you straight to it and there are also some reading questions for you to have a look at and answer. So on this page we're going to be doing some arithmetic and we've got some addition questions here for you to practice. Please set out your work um, in the column method for addition. Please make sure that you put your numbers in the correct columns, so your tens and your ones column and please answer them there in the squared section underneath. Next we have some handwriting. Please remember to write your words in the small lines on your handwriting sheet and please make sure that you're writing on the line. Also when you do your handwriting please spell your words correctly so just check them as you go through to make sure you're including all the right letters in the right order and please make sure that your letters are all the same size. You can find some tips here on this screen on how to write them. So, um, for example, are your tail letters, so those letters with a descender, a part of the letter that goes down? Um, and you can find that on a G, um, a P, for example. Are they all the same length and do they go down to the bottom line on your handwriting lines? And your ascender, for example, the part that goes up, um, is that all the same length as the other ones and does it go all the way up to the top line shown in your booklet? For comprehension today we are going to be looking at Vikings in Britain. 
So we're going to be looking at Viking homes, we're going to be looking at the roles of men, women and children, and also the Viking community. Now when you read this, you'll be able to see that there are some subheadings there to section off the different um, topics for us, to make it easy to find. Please make sure you read your text twice as well, and if there are any words you don't know, you can underline them and look at them in a dictionary. So, when you go to answer your questions, please make sure you read your questions thoroughly. Um, for example, question three, we have some options to tick for that question. It says tick two options, so please don't just tick one, please don't tick three, please just tick two. So make sure you're reading your questions properly to uh, make sure you're answering them well. Also, for question five, you have got um, a matching activity. Please, if you can, use a ruler or something with a straight edge to um, make sure that your lines are nice and neat there so that when you upload this on Class Dojo, that I can um, see exactly what you mean to show me. In RE, please go to the school website, go to children and then year three, scroll down and you'll be able to find um, a picture that says religion, please click on that and that will take you to today's story. And today's story is all about Zacchaeus and it's about forgiveness as well. So please have a little read through that and then on um, the next page in your booklet you have a blank space and some lines. So your question is, can you think of a time that you made a bad choice and were shown forgiveness? Draw a picture and explain what happened. So after you've read the story, have a think about a time you've made a bad choice and you were shown forgiveness. Draw a picture and please explain what happened on the lines. Now every week we expect some RE work to be uploaded onto Class Dojo. So please do upload this onto your portfolio. For well-being and PSHE, we are going to be looking at our emotions and we're going to be thinking about positive emotions and negative emotions. Please go onto the school website, go to children then year three, scroll down and you'll be able to find a well-being picture and it's shown on the screen with a pink background there. Please click on that and that will take you to today's lesson and can you please complete the worksheet in your booklet after you've had a little look at the lesson. You may already know that this week's competition is to find out all about each other. So we want to celebrate what makes us special and what makes us unique. Um, please record a video of five things that we may not know about you. Okay, so there might be some facts that you haven't shared with anyone, something interesting about you. Um, you can make a video, you can make a poster, um, or anything really, just with five facts about you. Please upload them to Class Dojo. I can't wait to see them and learn more about you three. Have a lovely day and I hope to see all of your lovely work on Class Dojo. Thank you.